Hello Taurus, so today's question for the cards and your angels and guides who might come through through this reading is um, how do they feel about you? So this is someone in your life and you're wondering how do they feel about you? What are their true intentions? What are they thinking? How do they feel? Okay, so for a moment Taurus, take a few deep breaths, I'll do it with you. All right, and now just keep them in your mind. Just think about whoever it is that you'd like to know how they feel about you. And maybe send a little message to your angels and guides just to say, you know, if there's something you need to know, hopefully it can come through in this reading. All right, so let's go ahead and have a look at what Tarot has to say. How do they feel about you, Taurus? How does your person feel about you? Ooh, all right, straight up. Ooh, and there are three, which is what I needed. Okay. Uh, ooh, ten of wands. Okay, someone feels that they're carrying a really heavy burden. Ooh, nine of swords and carrying a lot of anxieties. Okay, page of wands. And at that time... That's when they approached you or will approach you or are approaching you. Um, so Ten of Wands and Nine of Swords, this person suffers from anxiety big time. It's a heavy burden on them. I think that they're just a, a very high strung stressed person um, on the down low um, without really wanting anyone to know. They're going through a lot of you know stress maybe they're insomniac they can't sleep very well and page of wands is saying this person is sort of like um you know feeling like you're someone that could be there for them or they feel that you are there for them you know kind of thing but i also feel that um not being able to open up about whatever they're going through is an added stress and even more insomnia or sleepless nights kind of thing now Taurus this could be talking about you okay but the question was how do they feel and some pretty heavy duty messages came up didn't they so let's go ahead and get the Lenormand and get some more ideology on what these cards are actually saying okay so ten of wands a heavy burden a lot of stress someone feels that they're carrying more than their um, weight for a long time okay so the tree is a health issue a tree could also be genealogy such as dna it's just in the family that maybe they come from a family that all have the same kind of traits where they feel they have to carry more than their fair share throughout life and this is something that is making them feel very burdened right now also the tree can indicate learning new things okay i also feel that for some of you a very personal message came through um from your angels and guides saying that your person may be um like a partner of someone with children or they have children with a previous partner and maybe they don't see these these their children enough and they're really missing them just for someone that's really amazing how that came through but that really did come through with the tree and um the ten wands because it's almost like that they're overcompensating for something um on a very deep level so maybe you've only just met your person and this is kind of giving you a huge glimpse in on their life and their psyche but that's what's coming through okay so with the nine of swords and the tower tower indicates sometimes a very tall person okay uh, for the tree and the tower that is telling me this could be a township or a suburb uh, with a lot of trees like a forest tree or like in the mountains if the mountain cards come out then that's pretty clear as day because as you can see, there's a tree here, okay? And look here, there's trees. And usually if there's a tree in like a lot of cards in the in the spread with the Lenormand, 
um, it talks about a lot of trees and a lot of natural elements, environment type of things. So some of you may be living in that kind of environment or your person may be, or maybe that's where they come from. Okay, now the tower can also indicate, um, you know, a, a landmark, like for instance, Leaning Tower of Pisa or um, the Colosseum, if you know what I mean. So it could also be talking about a very, very big park in the city for some of you. Okay, and the bear. So bear is all about responsibilities, much like the emperor. The bear also can um, signify someone who powers forward through life. Okay, um, sometimes... It also says um, a tall person and a big person, okay, because big and tall and very family orientated and they're carrying that weight and having a lot of anxiety and that's when they are the page of wands to you. It's almost like saying, well, now we met, we're in each other's lives and I've got all this going on in the background, but I still want to explore and see where this takes us because I think it's worth it because of the way I feel about you. So that's kind of what the Page of Wands is saying there. It's all, it's kind of like a new love or um, someone, and not a crush because Wands are heavier than a crush, or than Cubs, which would be a Page of Cubs, just someone that you met and you're kind of crushing on and you kind of like them but you don't know them very well. Page of Wands is a messenger that comes from a place of desire and passion. So it's a lot more than, you know, a crush. It's more like, I want to see you again kind of thing. And I want to actually take this seriously because I really, really like you. And, the, you know, like I said before, the way they feel about you and all that jazz. So it's really all about someone wanting to power forward with you as a page of wands, but they've got all this going on in the back of their mind. So how do they really feel about you? That's how they feel. I'm going to get a mirror's love oracle and just get some extra insight for you, Taurus, because you guys rock. Have I failed to say, if you like it, please like it. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have, Thank you so much. I love you guys and your support on my channel is what keeps me here. So keep showing me love and support and I promise you I'm not going anywhere. All right. True love, dating queen and dark male. Ooh. All right. So obviously your person thinks you're, you're hot as anything and you probably feel the same about them because look how they're looking back at each other. It's like, I cannot stop thinking about you. I mean, seriously, she's like, oh, everyone's giving me all these compliments and that, and but she's got her eye on this guy and he's kind of got his eye on her, even though they're both kind of doing really well on their own. All right, and then we've got the True Love card, Taurus. Need I say more? Hope you liked it. Comment below. Let me know what you think. And as always, I send you love. And stay tuned for your May predictions reading. And check out your Wake Up uh, with Dark Light reading that I just posted as well. Bye for now.